The General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper is a remotely piloted, medium-altitude, long-endurance aircraft that has been a game-changer in modern warfare. First introduced in 2007, the Reaper has seen action across the globe, from the Middle East to Africa and beyond. Before we dive into the Reaper's specs and capabilities, let's take a look at its development and history. The MQ-9 Reaper is the result of an evolution in drone technology that began with its predecessor, the MQ-1 Predator. First introduced in the mid-1990s, the Predator was a groundbreaking platform, but it had its limitations. With a need for a more advanced and capable drone, General Atomics started working on the MQ-9 Reaper in the early 2000s. The Reaper was designed to address the shortcomings of the Predator, and it quickly became a force to be reckoned with. The MQ-9 Reaper is primarily designed for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and precision strike missions. It is the successor to the MQ-1 Predator drone, featuring a more powerful engine, improved avionics, and a larger payload capacity. Let's break down some of the key components of this machine. The Reaper has a wingspan of 66 feet and a length of 36 feet. It's powered by a Honeywell TPE 331-10 turboprop engine, giving it a maximum speed of around 300 miles per hour and an operational altitude of up to 50,000 feet. With an impressive endurance of up to 27 hours, the MQ-9 can cover vast distances, making it the perfect tool for ISR missions. The MQ-9 Reaper can carry a payload of up to 3,800 pounds, which includes various sensors, cameras, and weapons. Its primary sensor is the multispectral targeting system, which combines infrared, electro-optical, and laser imaging to provide real-time, high-definition video feeds. The Reaper is also equipped with synthetic aperture radar, which allows it to see through clouds, fog, and other adverse weather conditions. This ensures that it can provide reliable ISR data to ground forces, even in challenging environments. In addition to its standard sensors, the MQ-9 can be equipped with various modular payloads to suit specific mission requirements. Some of these optional payloads include signals intelligence systems, electronic warfare systems, and maritime surveillance radar. As for weapons, the MQ-9 can be armed with a variety of missiles and bombs, including the AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground missile, GBU-12 Paveway-2 laser-guided bomb, and GBU-38 joint direct attack munition. This diverse arsenal allows the Reaper to engage a wide range of targets, from vehicles and buildings to enemy combatants. The Reaper's combination of advanced sensors and precision weapons has made it an invaluable asset for close air support missions, where it can work in tandem with ground forces to neutralize threats and provide real-time intelligence. Since its introduction in 2007, the MQ-9 Reaper has been deployed in numerous conflict zones, playing a critical role in the fight against terrorism and insurgency. Some of its most notable missions include operations in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. In addition to the United States, several other countries have also acquired the MQ-9 Reaper for their armed forces, such as the United Kingdom, France, Italy, and Spain. This widespread adoption highlights the Reaper's effectiveness and versatility on the modern battlefield. While the MQ-9 Reaper has been an essential tool in the fight against terrorism, it has also been the subject of controversies and ethical concerns. Critics argue that the use of drones for targeted killings blurs the line between warfare and assassination and raises questions about accountability and transparency. Moreover, civilian casualties have been reported in drone strikes, leading to increased scrutiny on their use in conflict zones. These concerns have sparked debates on the development and deployment of autonomous weapon systems, and whether human intervention should always be required in the decision-making process. Despite these concerns, the MQ-9 Reaper continues to play a significant role in modern warfare, and General Atomics is working on further improvements to the platform. Some of the upcoming enhancements include extended range capabilities, improved sensor systems, and advanced autonomy features. These upgrades aim to make the Reaper even more effective and versatile in the ever-changing landscape of modern warfare. One such development is the MQ-9B Sky Guardian, a next-generation variant of the Reaper with improved endurance, increased payload capacity, and enhanced safety features. 
The Sky Guardian has been designed to meet NATO's stringent airworthiness standards, opening up the possibility for it to be used in both military and civilian applications. As drone technology continues to evolve, so do the potential applications outside of the military sphere. In recent years, the MQ-9 Reaper has been used for a variety of civilian and humanitarian purposes, such as border patrol, disaster relief, and wildfire monitoring. By leveraging the Reaper's advanced sensor systems and long endurance capabilities, it can provide valuable information and support during natural disasters or other emergency situations, helping save lives and minimize damage.